Pax 14, I think. What do we got here? Pax 14. Uh, you know, we had a great practice yesterday. Really was happy with uh, the intensity, the competition. It got heated out there. Um, the guys were cranked up. And uh, today we're what we call spider pads. And uh, it'll be a light, almost a typical Friday before a big game. So we'll try to teach our guys, you know, what we have to do on a Friday before a big game. Um, try to get them in that mode. Another little thing just before we get started here, I hired a new graduate assistant yesterday. Um, he's a, uh, obviously a former player for a recruiting slash uh, operations GA, uh, Rod uh, Stevens Howling, one of our new graduate assistants, as you guys know. Former great tailback, uh, NFL tailback, sure happened to have him in the program as well, so I'll give you that a little announcement. Uh, he may be available for media next week, right? Yeah. So, Always get close. Any questions? How'd you come to know him? How was he brought to your, did he just apply for a job or? Um, he applied, you know, really I actually met Larod uh, last year. I told him his first interview was after some, one of our summer camps. I don't know if you were there or not, but after one of our summer camps, he had kind of stopped by. He was, he was volunteering over at uh, uh, Robert Morris and uh, he came out, you know, met him and then I came out and I said, hey, you want to say a few words to all the campers? And, uh, you know, he, he impressed me right there. And I said, uh, you know, he's a guy that we wanted to get back, bring back to the, the Pitt family. Guy's done a lot for this program, and um, so we're happy to have him back. You beat Heinz tomorrow, Pat? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, we will be. How much do you try to, uh, like, when you get to go down there for a scrimmage, how much do you try to incorporate sort of the, uh, I don't know, like the details of, like, game day? You know what I mean? In the locker room, get it from the locker room to the field, all that kind of stuff. You know, we'll wait till the rehearsal scrimmage, the falling. Uh, Thursday or Friday, I think it's Friday. Uh, next Friday, we'll you know kind of make sure we hit all the details then. But uh, just like we do out here at a scrimmage, we try to work as many situations as possible. Even when we're out here, you know, we got the coaches up in the tower there with the headphones on, working the communication between the coaches. You know, because someone's going to be up, someone's going to be down. How's that communication work? Um, in our scrimmage, we've only put like you know two and a half. You know, it's more of the you know working. The football part of it will work in two and a half minute sideline adjustment. So when the one defense comes off against the one offense, they go to the sideline and we work and talk about the communication. You know, everybody talks about sideline and halftime adjustments. You know, but we do a great job of sideline adjustment. It's something we teach and coach. We want to teach our kids. You know, we don't want to get the game day. You know, they want to watch the scoreboard and see what's going on. No, they better be locked into that next series. And, and we try to coach that throughout camp. Will the, Matt be upstairs this year? Yeah, Matt will be upstairs this year. Correct. You guys have a lot of spread up tempo teams on the schedule. I mean, how much does this depth that you guys have developed over the last year, how much does that help you prepare to face a schedule like this? Um, you know, it really does help. You know, we just talked about, you know, competing and guys competing for positions. And, you know, competition is good because we got more guys that are, you know, obviously have that uh, uh, the depth to be able to do that. So it uh, really will help us. You also face a triple option team every year. Do you? Spend even though that game's not until October. Do you spend a little bit of time in camp just going through some of that stuff? Yeah, we've had uh, probably eight to ten minutes every day. We worked on the triple option out here, so no doubt we didn't do it in the spring because we felt like we we had enough of it during uh, December months um, practicing for uh, for Navy. So we you know purposely installed it and, you know from day one. We'll come back a year, Pat. Do you think moving Brian O'Neill was one of the best decisions you've made here at Pitt? Um, there's no question about it. I mean, um, you know, Brian O'Neill is going to be a great offensive tackle at the next level. He's going to be a great one for us. Um, you know, he's he's all in, and, and it's it's a great move. I'm not a genius, so we had to do that. It was not. It didn't take a genius to figure that one out. How do your young defensive tackles, particularly the freshmen, look so far in camp? You know what? They're they're like yo-yos right now. Uh, they're up and down, uh, but a ton of talent. I mean, you see, you know, you see great spurts out of them every day. I mean, they, they, they have the ability to cause havoc in the backfield. I mean, Watts will get off the ball and cause yesterday caused, you know, some major havoc in inside. Uh, but then the next time he'll line up, you know, there's a center and usually if there's a center, someone lines up on either side of the center. Sometimes he'll be on the same side as the other guy. It becomes a problem. Um, and that's the same thing for the other guys. I mean, Keyshawn Camp, you know, yesterday looked explosive and Rashad Wheeler's looked good. So um, it's all three of them. You know, I anticipate getting ready to go as the season starts. What about your young wide receiver, your freshman wide receivers? Are they stepping they're doing, up? They're doing well. I mean, they've made some big catches. Uh, they've made some, you know, deep throws. And, you know, Aaron Matthews might be the guy that's ahead right now. And 
uh, we'll continue to keep giving him more and more um, as we move. Okay. Anything else? First, thank you, Tom. All right, sir. Yeah.